If you really wanted to use NVIDIA broadcast software for noise removal and room echo removal, and if you are having a problem which is popping sound or crackling sound, and it doesn't matter if it is an NVIDIA broadcast, it may be a shadow play, which is also an NVIDIA product. If you're having this kind of problem, I think that I found a solution. I have searched whole internet. I couldn't find the answer, but because I have a little Russian, I searched a little bit of uh, Russian forums and found different solutions and combined them together. Now, this is the solution. Just follow me step by step. I am going to show you how to do that, okay? As you can see, I'm using Focusrite audio interface and I have right now effects, noise removal and remo uh, room echo removal. Uh, beta effects applied on it and if you uh, hear it uh, this sound clearly it means that this is the solution and there are two different solutions I'm going to show you the first one then the second one okay for the first one go to Windows settings and then uh, go to your home page on your settings and click on system and on the left hand side click on sounds now in this panel on the right hand side because it's black it's very hard to see but there is a sound control panel now let's click on it to open up this window now find your recording uh, section and find your microphone this is my audio interface it may be a different name on your side so find your microphone, then double click on it, then go to advanced tab on this panel, then choose two channels 16 bit 44 100 sample rate CD quality. And uncheck these two boxes within exclusive mode. So you may ask, okay, this uh, you have chosen this one, but it is uh, very poor quality why you did this now in the first article i read that because of nvidia it happens to we need to choose this one nvidia couldn't handle over this sample rate okay you may choose 48 sample rate and you may have uh, no problems it's okay but if you go about that it's going to be a problem now I found that this is uh, the maximum NVIDIA broadcast or NVIDIA shadow could handle and that's why I chose it. This is the first solution and if it works for you, stop there and close it uh, just like the video and comment down below that first solution actually worked for you and go and okay. Now if it's not now I'm going to show you the second step, okay? Just follow the first step. If it doesn't work, now follow the second step. For the second step, we need to go to the task manager. Type, your, type here task manager and go to your task manager. In your task manager, go to your details and find audio dg.exe file okay now right click on it set priority to high windows is going to prioritize this audio section for us and it may work for you actually this worked for me the first step by itself didn't work for me but this time the second step i followed it and it worked for me then go to your set affinity section here and click on it you are going to see that all processes are selected just uncheck all of them and just give one cpu for this one okay just one of them not all of them choose one of this if you have more than 15 or if you have less than 15 okay it's okay just choose one of them and then hit okay now it's going to work for you, 
But before that, I want to point out something else. Uh, if you are recording uh, different software, you have to go to your settings. I'm using right now OBS, Open Broadcaster, Open Source Software. And go to your audio settings too and choose sample rate the same, okay? It, it needs to be the same in here too in order to work. Now, this is going to actually, I hope, is going to help you. But uh, the second step has a little uh, problem. As you see in Task Manager, now you have to change the settings whenever you restart your computer. Now, it's a pain in the ass. If you are going to do it again and again and again, it's going to mess your mind. Now, because this has just worked for me, I bought a simple software. I'm going to show you this software. This is called Process, Process Lasso Pro version, okay? It has, I guess, a light version too. This is not going to increase or speed up your computer. It is just um, automating this thing for us, okay? Now, as you can see on my all processes section, I have audio dg.exe file in here too. Now, if I right click, if I priority class, always, there's a current and always, and set to high, also CPU affinity, always select CPU affinity and choose one of them. This is CPU, uh, this, this one is checked right now. And because I have set it right here using this software, whenever I restart my computer, it is going to uh, do these uh, steps for me automatically. That's why I bought this software. Now, if you think that, okay, I don't want it to buy software, you can do again and again whenever you restart your computer. It's okay for me. It's, uh, the software is not sponsored for me, but I am recording this video to help you guys because it took me about a month. I just searched a lot. I couldn't sleep because I really wanted to use NVIDIA broadcasts. I have a daughter, I have a son, and they are both our babies crying at home. And I like, I really like to uh, make videos. And uh, this AI noise removal and echo removal effects, I really need it. And that's why even if I have a great uh, audio interface, I can record over uh, 44 100 sample rate but right now quality for me is a luxury i really need this noise removal and room echo removal and if you really need this these were uh, the solutions and i hope it really help you guys if it does hit the like button comment down below to help other viewers not to waste their time if it's not tell them if it did Tell them. And I hope I didn't waste your time in this video. Bye bye.